All right, guys. First order of business, okay, is to saute up some garlic. Okay. Not customary. Not customary having garlic. Okay, in a green chicken curry. But we just want to saute this for about a minute or so. Okay. Get it a little bit golden brown. I'm using peanut oil. Okay. You could use vegetable oil, but I'm using peanut oil. Okay, and here it is, about 10 or 20 seconds in, and it's just starting to get translucent, and some of the bits are starting to turn brown. And at that point, I'm going to add some red onion slivers and some red bell pepper, and I'm going to saute these down for about five minutes. Okay. Okay, guys, it's been about, actually, about seven minutes. And the bell peppers and the red onions have reduced, released their water. I added no salt because there's salt coming from fish sauce and there's salt coming in the curry paste. So I used no salt in reducing these peppers and onions. And even though they're reduced, they're still quite crunchy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some finely chopped lemongrass and some finely chopped ginger. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add my green curry paste. That's between four and six tablespoons of curry paste, depending on how adventurous you are. And I'm going to break this up and cook the curry paste and the ginger and lemongrass for about three minutes, okay, just to get it fragrant. And then we're going to move on to the next step. Okay guys, so the curry has begun to loosen up and spread itself all over the onions and the peppers and the garlic. And there I'm going to put some kaffir lime leaves, okay? That is three kaffir lime leaves chopped up. It's going to add a layer of fragrance and flavor to this dish that just cannot be beat. You know, between, between lemongrass and kefir lime leaves, it doesn't get much better. So, okay guys, now at this point, I'm gonna add in my coconut milk, which is actually coconut cream, and I'm gonna reduce the heat. Um, I've been doing some exploring when it comes to coconut milk and coconut creams, okay? And even your best brands of uh, coconut milk are only between 40 and 60 percent coconut milk and the rest is water. So I finally found a brand that was a little bit expensive as a premium. It was 90 percent coconut milk which constitutes it as a cream, okay, and 10 percent water. And I decided to pay extra because of the flavor. Oh my God, when I tasted this, it was so much better than regular over-the-counter coconut milk. So there goes the coconut cream, and there goes some chicken stock, okay? And I'm gonna mix this in, okay? And I'm gonna bring it to a boil, and then I'm gonna bring it to a simmer, and we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, guys. My curry is at a boil, and now I'm going to reduce it to a simmer. And what I'm going to add now is my chicken, okay? Now, a lot of recipes on the net, it's all about using chicken breast, long, boring chicken breast, dry chicken breast. I hate using chicken breast, okay? What I'm using here, okay, is boneless, skinless chicken leg. Wash off my hands. Okay, what I'm using here, instead of chicken breast, boring old chicken breast, okay, is I'm using chicken leg meat. Boneless chicken leg meat. About two pounds, maybe two and a half pounds. There's a lot of chicken here, okay. I like making a very heavy curry, okay. There's about two and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken leg. Now I've got a lot of coconut milk in there, 
and I got a lot of chicken stock. And yes, for the first time in history, I'm going to add some water to a dish, okay, to help thin it out just a little bit. But as this simmers with the chicken, it's going to reconstitute and get thick again. It smells so lovely in here. It's ridiculous. And yes, for those of you that know me, by the time I'm done, I will be right to the rim of the wok right now from okay. using it. So I'm going to simmer this chicken for about 15 minutes, and then we'll be back for the next step. Okay, guys. So this has been cooking for about five or ten minutes and right now I'm going to add some basil. Oh my god. I'm going to add some basil leaves and they're going to wilt okay, and continue cooking with the chicken and add such a savory flavor to this curry. Oh my god. There we go. Shovel this over. There we go. Nice, thick, green chicken curry. Oh my God. There we go. All right. Okay, guys. So the chicken has been cooking for about eight to 10 minutes. It's just about done. And right now I'm going to add the last of my ingredients. A little bit of lime juice, okay? Give it a little bit of tang. This is very spicy. I used about six tablespoons of green curry paste. And green is very hot compared to red and others. Green curry is raw, it's not cooked. Okay, so I added some lime. There is some sweet soy. You could use regular soy, okay, but I happen to like sweet soy because there is a sweet layer to this dish. A little bit of fish sauce. A little bit of fish sauce, about a tablespoon of fish sauce, okay. Now I'm going to mix that in, okay, just stir that in gently, okay, it'll make its way around, there we go, there we go, okay, and there's a sweet layer component, some palm sugar or brown sugar, which I'm not using, about two tablespoons full, and I like to use molasses for the sweet layer in most of my Asian cooking, so we have a heat layer, and a sweet layer, and a salt layer, and a spicy layer, and that's what they call umami, okay? So there's my sweet layer, okay? And one last thing, actually I got two last things. Here's some mushrooms. This, my curries are loaded, okay? My curries are loaded, whether it's chicken, fish, or beef, my curries are loaded. There's some straw mushrooms, okay? When I make a curry, it's a feast, okay? Now, a lot of curry recipes, some people call for potatoes, and then they spoon it on top of rice. I'm not into that. What I'm going to use is bamboo shoots, okay? Fresh bamboo shoots that I found at the market, not canned bamboo shoots, fresh bamboo shoots, okay? There we go. Peeled, slivered, delicious. That's going to take the place of potato because I don't want to put potato in this dish and then serve it on top of rice. As a matter of fact, I don't serve my curries on top of rice. I serve my curries on top of noodles. Okay, so I'm going to bury these bamboo shoots and mushrooms and I'm going to turn the heat back up, bring it to a boil, and then bring it to a simmer. Another 15 to 30 minutes on the simmer to get everything well cooked. And then it's going to be time for dinner. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys. So there it is. My Thai green curry chicken recipe. Okay. It's got a lot of lovely attributes. Red bell pepper, red onion, bamboo shoots instead of potato. Okay. Basil leaves, straw mushrooms, lemongrass, lime juice, soy sauce, fish sauce, all the delicious stuff you need for a lovely Thai dish for Thai green chicken curry, okay? Now, I'm going to let this simmer for another five minutes, and then I'm going to plate it up. I'm not going to plate it on Thai homali rice. I'm going to plate it up on noodles because I like it on noodles. But about another five minutes, and then it's time to have dinner. 
Hey guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my easy cooking channel tonight. I hope you enjoyed my Thai green chicken curry recipe. It's very colorful. It's a little bit different. It has, you know, a little, couple little twists and turns, but it's really delicious. It's really spicy. I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you make this recipe, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.